Okay. Hi. I didn't get to filming until after dark today. Um, just due to life getting in the way. Um, decided that I would build this wood stove though and uh, test it out in here and see if it was the right size for heat and for uh, you know cooking. It's not going to smoke me out, that kind of thing. It's a little bit of smoke right now, um, but it's not terrible. Better than the other stoves that I had. So I got a heat gun and I'm doing some uh, surface temperatures with this just to make sure that the tent's not going to get too hot. And I test the canvas everywhere around the chimney pipe here and it's only 12, 13 degrees Celsius so no issues. And behind the stove we have 32, no, 13 degrees, 4 or 5 degrees Celsius and uh, if I take a reading on the flue itself it's 110 and the stove top is 93 the sides are 110 and this is Celsius the sides 70 it's nice and toasty in here um, it's supposed to get down to minus 9 tonight but uh, it should be toasty warm here I'm only gonna leave this stove running while I cook my dinner take the chill off the the uh, air inside the tent and then I'm gonna hunker down in my uh, minus 45 degrees Celsius sleeping bag which uh, should keep me plenty warm tonight. Checking my messages here, sorry. So, so far so good, quite happy. I put one of these little uh, stove uh, electric fans on, kind of circulate the heat, and that seems to be working really well. It's uh, sure circulating the warmth around here, but it's blowing right in my face, so I had to turn that. Yeah, this is working really, really nicely. Very, very impressed. I'm scared to open the door because it might smoke, but I'm going to have to, I guess, at some point. Let's turn this camera a little bit. There we go. Awesome light there a little better <clears throat> so yeah I won't film too much tonight uh, not much to really see inside here but uh, I guess uh, I could show you my my uh, bedding for the night which is just a uh, expedition series uh, by it's a Yukon 7 Expedition Series by the by Woods, a minus 45 degree sleeping bag. Kind of show you that if I can get a good shot of it. So there it is, the Yukon bag. It's very very warm. I've used this thing a few times, and uh, I have never once got cold using that sleeping bag. So I highly recommend it. And. Uh, Check out my steak here. Let's see if it's cooking. Mm. Cooking rather slowly. I forgot to bring some spices though, so it's going to be pretty plain. But I'm not overly fussy. Steak, steak. Meat is meat. I like meat. Oh. I guess I'll bring you back when the uh, steak is done cooking. All right, see you in a bit. <clears throat> okay, my steaks are done. Oh, let's get a little more light. I don't have anywhere to eat this except right out of the frying pan, so. Oh, it's a little warm. And no seasoning or nothing but whatever it's good mm. 
not my best cooking, that's for sure, but this was more of a night planned out for testing the stove more than it was for cooking, so next time we'll get a better cooking video. So the stove is made out of stainless steel. Um, I uh, built this at home in the, in the dark because I work evenings, so when I got home at night I built this. Uh, seems to be working great. I didn't put the uh, damper on the bottom, I just got, I figured I'd try it without, and I could put a damper on it and, you know, slide it closed and try and control the fire a little bit, but I wasn't even sure if this thing was going to work, so. But I got to say, so far I'm very pleased. I'm extremely warm in here, like it's got to be plus 30 in this tent. And that little fan that's blowing on the back there is awesome. It's sure circulating the heat around here. Uh -uh. Yeah, I'll be comfortable tonight for sure. Mm. Almost cooked the beans too much. I need a little table or something to eat on in here. I have a little place where I can take my take my cast iron and get it off the stove. It's definitely getting warm underneath the stove. I've only got about, I'd say, 10 inches of clearance from the ground to the bottom of the stove and that's, I put a piece of oak underneath just to, uh, as, a, as a heat shield and to protect the uh, rubber lining on the bottom of the tent so the legs don't poke a hole. Now, I'm not in any danger of starting it on fire or anything, but it is getting to be 80 degrees Celsius under there. It's a little concerning. It's warm, so i going to let this fire die down. And, uh... I don't think it's going to be a big problem, though. I mean, it's raging hot in here, so. I'm pretty sure that ain't gonna light on fire. And nothing's melting. I mean, around the outside edges of the plywood, uh, or the oak sheet is like, just room temperature, it's nice, so. This tent should work really good as a hunting shelter. Tomorrow, it is November 1st and uh, beginning of the rifle season. I haven't decided yet if I'm actually going to go hunting this year or not. I've been so busy. I just don't know. I guess we'll see. Currently my wife's car's broke down so tomorrow i got to be working on that. But yeah. I bought this tent, um, made by Vivor, Vivor, and uh, so far I really like it. It's waterproof, it's holding the temperature, it's uh, not burning down, so this will serve all my purposes. I'm going to do a lot of winter camping this, this uh, season. Most of the time we'll probably be inside this tent because it is it is is nice. It's very nice. But I do plan on doing some uh, camping in like a Quincy. Um, we'll see. I may try some tarp style camping out in the snowbank, but uh, that's pretty extreme. But what the hey, I'll try it anyway. thing about this is I'm overcooking my steak because I can't take it off the the stove. It's going to be well done and it's not quite how I wanted it. Pretty big steak knife, huh? <laughs> Didn't bring any other knife, so. Mm. 
Well, I guess, guys, that's about it for tonight. I'll check you guys in the morning. I'm just going to sit back and eat and enjoy my night. Possibly read a book. And we will catch up with you in the morning. All right. Oh, good morning. It's a chilly morning today. When the fire went out, it was uh, a little chilly in here. Good thing I got the sleeping bag though. Uh, I woke up a few times throughout the night. Didn't have the greatest sleep, but I, I didn't freeze to death or anything. So, time to get up and... Uh, I'll take and show you a little bit around the tent and um, that's that's about it. It looks like it's blowing pretty hard out there. Kind of windy today. Okay, that's it for now. just out of a cookie sheet that works really well and it seals up the hole so you can use different size stove pipes it's actually a four inch opening but uh, I put that cookie sheet on there and that's um, that's uh, like a two and a half inch opening now so that works not bad anyways that's the tent